Hey everybody, this is Adam at Archery Country. Today's video, we're gonna go over how to sight in a couple different types of crossbow scopes. Uh, the first one we're gonna sight in is a speed adjustable one, and then we're also gonna go over how to do a fixed reticle type scope. With the speed adjusted scope, we're gonna shoot this through a chronograph. This bow chronographed at 400 feet per second. So we're gonna dial that in, set it at 400 feet per second. We got a target here at 20 yards. We're gonna shoot, get it zeroed in, and then we're gonna to go to farther distances to make sure that we have our gapping correct. In this particular scope, we have 20, 30, 40, all the way out to 100 yards for our uh, cross reticles. And so we're gonna dive on in and get this thing sighted in. So the first step is we're gonna get this bow sighted in at 20 yards. If we need to make any adjustments, it's all gonna be with our elevation and windage turrets. So I got this bow loaded. 20 yards. Very well. Looks like I'm probably just about half inch high. I'll make those adjustments with my turret. So this is gonna be the second shot. I was just a little bit high, so I gave it three clicks, moved it downwards, loaded it up. Again, I'm using that center reticle. Very good. So it looks like our up and down's good. Uh, might be slightly left. I might just shoot once more to get that dialed in. And then we'll go back to some distance. So now that our 20 is on, we're gonna step back to 60 yards. I'm gonna make sure to use the 60 yard reticle in the scope. We're shooting these farther distances. We wanna make sure that the bow is nice and level. So that way we don't get any left, right drift. Also for shooting in a little bit of a crosswind before we make immediate adjustments, shoot a couple times, make sure we get a pattern developed and then make some adjustments off that. So again, 60 yards loaded up here. It looks like we're right on the right side of the, the black circle. It's about yay big. Again, we'll shoot a couple times just to confirm. If we're a little bit high, higher low, we'll adjust the scope accordingly. And then we'll keep working back farther distances, just get this thing really fine tuned. So we just got done at 60 yards. We shot three arrows or three bolts at that distance. Uh, we might be just a little bit to the right and maybe just a little bit high. We're gonna do it 80 now, uh, just to see if that pattern continues. The farther out we can go, the more accurate we can get the gapping in these crossbow uh, scopes that are gonna be a speed adjusted scope like this. Um, so again, 80 yards, we're gonna be real critical of how those bow levels up, because we're gonna see that at some distance. But so far it's been grouping pretty well. So 80 yards. So here it looks like we're just a, a hair high. Again, we're gonna shoot a group just to make sure that that's the case. So we just shot two bolts here at 80 yards. Uh, what we noticed is that we're probably about six, seven inches high, but then we're probably about two inches off of, uh, to the right of center. Uh, the, the group is really well. I mean, it's probably only about two and a half inches apart. Point of impact, which at 80 yards and a little bit of crosswind, that's pretty impressive. Um, so I'm gonna make the left right adjustment on this one first. Just getting on my turret here. I wanna move it to the left. I'll probably just do two clicks. I'll go three. And then to do the up and down, because my zero is 20 and my 20 is uh, zeroed, I'm basically gonna work with the speed. Now I'm shooting high. And so the scope is a little bit slower than what the bow actually is in theory. So what I'm gonna do, as I'm actually going to speed up this scope, I'm gonna start with what I guess would be probably like 10 feet per second. Um, on here, it's every 25 feet, so I'm just using kind of a best educated guess. Because since we're shooting high, we wanna speed up this bow. And when we speed it up, it's gonna shrink the gapping in between these reticles. And so by doing that, shrink that up, that's gonna allow us to point downwards more, and that's gonna bring this group down. Um, so we're gonna again shoot another couple bolts here, get a group, and then probably mess around with the speed a little more, and then also left, right if needed. So I have it cocked back, load this. Make sure everything's nestled in. Using the proper reticle. Nice. So it looks like left, right responded. We're looking pretty good. We might be just a little bit high yet. I'm gonna shoot probably one more bolt just to confirm that, but then I will be messing with the speed adjustment if we have the same um, type of result with impact. 
So we just got done shooting our final group at 80 yards. I was shooting at two different dots at 80. I was shooting that top right and that bottom one, and both of the bolts were just off the left to center. Um, the wind's really picked up, and so I'm not gonna be too critical about the left right after that end. Um, I'll come back on a steadier day and then just reconfirm that. I re really, really recommend that you go through and you check that that gapping is proper each year because you might have some string and cable stretch, especially on these crossbows, um, just to reconfirm that. Also, we highly recommend that you shoot broadheads, especially at distance, just to make sure that the drag is going to be the same and that we don't have any issues with grouping whatsoever. So again, that's how we do a speed adjustable scope. Um, sometimes you might want to make a mark so that way you actually know in case it's good bumped where it actually was so we can get it dialed back in if you're on a hunt. So next step is going to do a fixed reticle crossbow and we're going to dive on into that. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you how to sight in a fixed reticle type crossbow scope. These ones here are going to be really simple. These, uh, this scope in particular has four different crosshairs on it. We're going to get that center one sighted in for 20 yards and then we're going to go um, you shoot basically multiple distances to figure out what the other gapping is on those reticles to assign it a certain yardage. Different than our speed adjusted scope where we can manipulate our 20, 30, 40 gappings, these kind of are what they are depending on the bolt and the speed of the bow. And so again, we're going to start at 20 yards and get this sighted in. All right, so we're going to shoot 20 yards again. We're going to shoot, you know, three bolt group, make adjustments off of that. Going to use that top center crosshairs. All right, load it up, try again. So we just shot a three bolt group here at 20 yards, pretty consistently off to the right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it about, oh, I'm gonna go three clicks back to the left. All right, got it loaded up here. I'm gonna shoot again, see if that made the right adjustment, make adjustments if need be. There we are. So I came back over, we'll shoot a couple more just to make sure that's what we need. Nice. So we just got done shooting our second end at 20 yards. Um, all three of those bolts were in the smallest black circle. So left and right's good, up down's good. Uh, now to set these other four reticles, we're gonna set the second reticle of course next. Uh, we're basically just moving this target back, trying to find where the yardage matches up with the drop of the bolt. Uh, unlike the speed adjusted scope where we can marry that up, this one here is going to take a little bit more guesswork. And then once we get that yardage found where it matches up with that reticle, that's where the archer just needs to take note of that. Either write down on a recipe card, maybe you can put a piece of tape on the stock so that way he knows for quick reference, or just make sure to memorize those for quick target acquisition. So I'm going to use the second reticle. I'll rip out 30 yards here and we'll just see where that drops in. Looks like just slightly low. Again, we're gonna shoot a group here. So we just got done with our final group here at 30 yards, trying to get that second reticle set up. All are really consistently low, probably about inch, inch and a half at most. And so what that would mean is that we need to move that target up a couple of yards, and then that might be 27 yards, for example. So our first reticle is 20, second one's gonna be 27. Then doing that same method to find out where that third and fourth reticle are gonna be, and then recording that so then you know where those are gonna be at. Uh, it's all gonna vary depending on the, the weight of the bolt, speed of the crossbow that the scope is mounted to. And again, we still recommend shoot your broadheads just to make sure that's gonna have that same gapping on that reticle of scope. If you have any questions on this, come on into one of our stores. Anytime somebody buys one of these from us, we help them get sighted at 20 yards, and then we teach them how to go through this exact method to get whatever type of crossbow scope they have mounted on that bow. Make sure to like and subscribe. We got a lot more content coming out um, in regards to crossbows, vertical bows, and just getting things dialed in for this upcoming hunting season. We got our three locations, uh, fully staffed, a bunch of professionals that can help you with whatever it may be. Like and subscribe, send us a chat, email. Thank you for your time.